Hey, what's up guys? This is Toriel. So in this video, I am going to go through with you how to create a multicam in Final Cut Pro. Some things you need to pay attention when you creating a multicam and will make your workflow more easier and, uh, you know, switching angles and all that. Let's quickly talk about why we want to use multicam. I love to show you the conventional way we do it. For example, right now I have a I have an interview here. It was done a few days ago. The conventional way is, is you bring the A camera here, okay, and you bring your main audio source, and you see this little peak. You guys probably already know. Like every time when you film something, you're gonna hear three, two, one, action, right? That clip is actually a spot that you can sync your audio and video to. So normally people will do this. But the drawback of this is you have to be very accurate and if your audio and your video they're not recorded with the same time code what happens is when you play two minutes in you're gonna hear the lips is you know they're still speaking but the audio was slightly delayed so you have to kind of like resync it every couple minutes and you have to check, make sure it's all synced. So it definitely made, made the process more complicated. I'm gonna show you how to use Final Cut Pro multi-cam function. So with that being said, we're gonna start right away. So number one, just wanna quickly explain to you how this uh, the whole scene was done. There are roughly three camera angles and one main audio source. Just like any other interviews, I believe a majority of the interviews we do, multi-cam interviews, you're gonna have a main audio source and you wanna sync all the different angles, footage, sync them based on this um, audio source. So let me explain to you what I mean by that. When you open Fire Up a session, you can create a new library and create a new event. The idea is you wanna dump all your footage into this event. It, this is slightly different than wedding film because you have to categorize them like ceremony, like out scene, outdoor, indoor. But in this case, I'm just gonna throw, dump all the raw footage into my event sequence and I'm gonna select all the clips. In this case, we have a seven, a six video clips and one audio clip. So seven clips in total. Right click, it's gonna show you new multicam clip. You wanna click on it. I'm gonna name it interview number one. I'm shooting 4K, 24 frame per second. And make sure your audio, um, use audio for synchronization is clicked. So it will go ahead and synchronize all the clips based on the audio they have. You click OK. And this is gonna take anywhere from 10, 20 seconds up to a minute. So just give it some time, be patient with it, let it render, done. We just finished rendering the, um, synchronizing the clip. As soon as you're done, you're gonna see in your events, you're gonna see this little icon with the four different squares. What you do is you're gonna drag it to your timeline. Forget about uh, these stuff. This is just my template. If you double click the clip, it will open up what's actually happening inside of this clip. So we can see there's different angles and we have a main audio source, which is at the bottom. We have, um, you know, one camera on his face and uh, we have uh, one camera on her face. But you see this little gap, it's probably paused it or restarted or something. So again, this makes your this makes your whole whole syncing audio and video syncing more easier. I don't think I'm gonna be using this. So I'm gonna click that little down arrow and I'm gonna click delete angle. When you wanna see different angles, I recommend you, in this case, we're done with this window. So I'm gonna click command shift one, I'm gonna close it. Click view, angles or shift command seven and you're gonna see different angles here. Okay, this is six different angles. So you can switch six, four, nine, up to you, depending on how many angles you have. And uh, that's pretty much it. So from here, you see this little audio icon. You wanna deselect that. Now you wanna come to the bottom and select uh, the main audio source. It was recorded with a Zoom H1. 
with two lav mics. So just make sure your your audio is selected on your your main audio source, and you can drag them around. You can rearrange them like this. So we told the multi cam clip that use hey use this file as a main audio source. But when you go out, when you go out, if you listen to it, keep our bodies in balance. It's playing with some other camera. So the fix for it is you command four or open up this scope and it might show you like audio configuration like this. All you need to do is drag it, expand it, and it's using dialog one as our audio source. We don't want that. We want to go to zoom H1 as our audio source. As soon as I click zoom H1, you can see the audio form waveform changed. Right now, if I play it, it's going to play um, my Zoom H1 uh, clip. Eating food from the earth and from the ocean, so living. Perfect. So that's pretty much it to kind of like fire up a multicam clip and session. I want you to pay attention to these three icons on the very top left. If it's like that, meaning every time we give it a cut to the angle, it will cut along with audio. Of the specific clip. So meaning if I switch camera A to camera B, if I have this selected, it's not only gonna uh, switch the clip, it's also gonna switch the audio. Our interview is shot with only one main audio source, so we do not use this. So 99% of the time when I use um, multi-cam, I pretty much do not use that unless there might be specific uh, method you shot the interview and you want specific sound to be with a specific clip. That's a different story. So 95 to 99% of the time, I would use the second option, which is keep my main audio source the same, but switch the camera angles, okay? So number three is only switching um, the audio too. So that's pretty much it with our multi-cam. And lastly, I want to show you how to cut the angles. How you cut is very interesting is that, you know, there are different cuts. Sometimes you can cut on the specific keyword because every time you make a cut, you kind of draw attention of your audience into this new angle. So they are, oh, it's, it's a cut. I need to pay attention here. That's how why multi-cam is so powerful is because it keeps your audience engaged and way better than only one camera because when you said one camera your audience listen to it one minute in they started to get bored because there's only one camera there's no fancy cuts i want to see her expression it's not showing expression so again be very creative creative and natural with your cuts okay I'm going to show you guys down the road how to cut them, how to when to cut and how to cut. But in this case, I just want to show you how you switch the angles. As you can see, the audio is green right here, meaning uh, it's our main audio source. So w let's say I listen to it. This is the spot I'm going to cut. What all I need to do is command B, okay? And sometimes your your curse might be somewhere else. Make sure you bring it to that specific cut and when you turn this on it's gonna snap it mag magnetically and all you need to do is select a different angle that's it you see as soon as i select different angles the rest of the clips are select based on that clip and all i need to do is find the next point let's say right there i need another cut let's switch to him that's him this is my template. This is uh, how I color correct my footage. As you can see, I use GH5, G85 for my shots. So if I don't color correct them, their skin tone is very green. It's not a natural skin color tone, but as soon as I put my color correction on it, you can see the pinky and natural um, skin tone um, is back. I have another video explain to you how I color correct my footage and how I how I color grade my footage. 
uh, but that's not the main focus for this video. So that's pretty much it. So that's a cut. And one last thing I want to mention is every time you make a cut, you don't want to make mistakes all over the place and you, you have to go back after you're done and listen through the whole thing. If it's 10 minutes video, sure. But if it's an hour or two documentary type of interviews, that's going to be a pain in the butt to do them. So what, what, I, what I meant is every time you make an angle cut, you go back a couple of frames ahead and you play it you make sure you're satisfied with the cut. If you're not, undo command Z, command Z, undo and recut it until you're satisfied. So for example, I'm gonna play it. We want to be um, eating food from the earth and from the ocean, so living foods is what, you know, what we should be. There you go. So that's what I meant. Just wanna, you wanna make sure you play, um, you play it again for a confirmation that you're happy with the cut. That's it for the multi-cam, and I hope you guys enjoyed and found some value here. Give me some feedback, some comment or questions, and uh, if you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to uh, see more similar content, definitely subscribe to the channel as I'll be posting more tutorial or editing type of work.